Hey guys, Alex here from Save Apple Dollars and today I got some really special uh, tips for you when it comes to cleaning your Mac. Now I've refurbished hundreds of units and you know I gotta tell you when it comes to these uh, Apple stickers that everybody likes to put in their laptops um, or scuff marks it's very difficult to get them out and I've tried probably over 50 products of different types to try to get uh, get the stuff off anything from vinegar to you know SOS pads to uh, many different uh, types of uh, chemicals and I've found that only one secret ingredient works and I'm gonna share that with you right now what you're going to need is your Windex and paper towel that's all now I'm doing my monthly maintenance routine and I got a dirty iMac a uh, dirty MacBook Air that I've been using and very dirty keyboard. Once uh, I start applying some of the stuff to it, you'll see it works miracles. I tell you, this is like uh, SOS pads for pots and pans, right? Uh, it's just able to do something that other uh, cleaning supplies and chemicals cannot do, uh, and it just works miracles. So without further ado, let me just uh, show you here in action some of the shots when it when it comes time to uh, clean some of those uh, just uh, really really difficult things to get off like the uh, sticker uh, residue glue it just won't come off with anything that you try but Windex for some reason has that special oomph that will uh, take care of that problem for you so here you go check it out so there's a sticker in the back of my iMac and we're going to give it a few sprays here and just rub it with the paper towel. As you can see, I'm grabbing the paper towel as well and am spraying it with the Windex so that it has kind of like a double effect. What happens here is it takes a while for the active ingredient of Windex to kick in and start going into some of the gunk in the sticker. So you could technically spray it on there and walk away for a minute or two, let that ingredient activate, come back and it should come off a lot easier. But as you can see, the results here in less than a minute are just incredible. I mean, this looks basically brand new. Look at that. Now moving on to our keyboard here, you could see that that enter key is just disgusting. Uh, we're just going to spray the Windex onto the keyboard openly. Uh, the little bit that sips through the cracks into the keys, it's just not going to be enough to interfere with its functionality. Of course, be mindful, don't go overboard, just one or two sprays, and then go ahead and rub it down with the uh, paper towel. And you can see, look, it looks brand new, it comes right off. In the case of the iMac, you could just treat it like a window. It's just a big, large um, window, basically. And the streaks will come right off, all the little stains. And you can also just wipe down the metal portion of it just as well. Uh, once you wipe down the wet part, get a nice and dry paper towel and then just make the streaks go away with a dry one. For the aluminum MacBook Airs and Pros, I have a uh, routine where I basically start off at the top, give it a few sprays, and wipe off the uh, top portion of the case, like the, the out, outside of the screen. Then I flip it over and I do the back. Again, a few sprays and just uh, wipe it down, concentrating on any uh, specific scuff marks. Then I go ahead and open it up and uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. You don't really have to power off the unit. Just make sure you press that power button so the screen kind of shuts off. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to spray the uh, paper towel, uh, and not the uh, keyboard itself. Just because it's a little more sensitive and there underneath that keyboard there's a, you know, a logic board so you don't want to damage that. And in this process, you're gonna invertedly hit the uh, power button a few times and the screen's gonna flicker, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I've done this a thousand times, never had an issue. So just uh, gently, with not too much pressure, wipe down the keyboard 
it's not really going to hurt it. It's going to make it look nice and uh, get that gunk off. So now basically moving on to the screen portion, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to spray the paper towel first. We're going to power it off so it's black and we can see clearly the, um, the streaks that we're removing. And basically once we're done with the wet cloth, we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, dry paper towel and just wipe off some of those excess streaks. And we're basically done. And this is the routine. I really hope that this video helped. Um, and I hope that this, me sharing this Windex secret is going to help you in the future to make sure that your products are nice and clean. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and have a great day.